the audience as well to talk about that. And then coming up in February, we've got a, a red card, uh, and I'm going to forget the what, what they're calling it. The, up in, uh, sympo the, the symposium. symposium. Yes, sir, that's exactly right. Yeah. Up in Guernsey, are, are you guys aware of that? Do you plan to participate in that? Um, we're, we're, the Guard, I think, is hosting it and, and bringing in firefighters and, and different people from around the state, I believe. We'll have to take a look at it. I'll, I'll visit with our training officer. And oh, I, yeah, that. and not, not didn't mean to put you on the spot. Just want to make sure that you're aware of that. No, it, it's, it's that great knowledge. There's several different schools around the state, and you know, certainly we work to try and uh, give our folks opportunities for to, sure. to be involved in that stuff as they become certified. And, and we, uh, we, we just continue building partnerships, so inevitably yeah. we're going to cross paths in, in less favorable situations, and it's best that we know each other a little better when we get there. Absolutely. And one so. of the things we're trying to get after with the symposium is, is get a number of our soldiers to go in and get red card training, and then we're hoping that that will be also provide them an opportunity to look across the state of Wyoming and see organizations like yours where they can also serve uh, in addition to the Wyoming Army National Guard. Where they can give a little bit of volunteer time. Well, with that, I think we'll wrap up this morning. Um, you got anything else that you would like to add? Chief, it's, it's been great to get to know you and to learn about your department. And uh, it, as Chief Galloway was saying, that is pretty impressive. 26 volunteers to take 250 calls a year. That sounds like a, a pretty heavy load. Well, they, they work, our, our folks work very hard and very diligent and no different than any of the uh, other departments across the state. There's, uh, there's a lot of very dedicated folks um, in the volunteer fire service and, and the career service throughout our state. Um, and, and that's attributed to all the, the individuals here for the Rural Fire Conference. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're working to uh, look at new skills, techniques, and opportunities uh, to take back to their community and implement uh, for recruitment retention, for a variety of different things. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, one, one last thing. You know, I grew up in, in, over in Star Valley. Um, Afton had a fire department, not, you know, 30 people or so, volunteer, I believe it was all volunteer. And just out of curiosity, you know, when, when there was a fire, we had a huge siren somewhere in town and somebody would sound this big siren repeatedly. And different number of sirens would tell the firefighters what, what, it, what they're responding to. Uh, how, how do you call your volunteers to, so to a response? In, in today's world, we, uh, all of our volunteers and all of our people carry a pager. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it, absolutely. It, uh, it, it's a speaker directly over it. Lets them, it lets them know where, what it is so they can respond to the station. Um, we also, with today's technology, we also use some different apps on phones mm -hmm. that uh, help identify as a secondary um, means of notification. So. Right on. Okay. All right. Just, just out of curiosity, you know, a bit, it's a big area, 26 people across the whole county. That's, um, it's just good to, I, I guess, good to know that you're using technology. I'm, I'm, the more I talk to the firefighters, I don't know a lot about firefighters. I, I, I truly don't. And the more I talk to the fire chiefs, um, the, the more impressive your organizations are, you, you're, you guys are, are absolutely the tip of the spear and staying on top of, of, all the developments in your industry and in, in firefighting, you're using technology, using partnerships, using your equipment, your trucks. You're always looking for upgrades, looking for better, looking. You, you, you're you're never complacent. Um, so I, I would like to thank you as as a you know. Luckily to this point, we've never had to call the fire department at my house, but um, you know you hear those sirens go off and and. And the conversations I'm having with the fire chiefs across the state of Wyoming are building confidence in me. When I hear the sirens, I know that there are some professionals on the road and they're going to save lives. So I would like to thank you personally, to you and your people, um, uh, just for, for contributing to our state, being part of that shield that General Porter talks about and, and being a strong point of our, our first responding team. So thank you with that. Thank you for your time this morning. I'll let you get to the to the uh, the panel. Um, be kicking off in just a few minutes. And Colonel Reyes, thank you for your time this morning. Absolutely, my pleasure. Uh, it's good to, to visit with you as well. And with that, gentlemen, we'll we'll sign off. Thank Sounds you. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. <laughs>